Yes, people, we lot saying I hope you lot are good. It's your boy Kamzo SCP, and today we are launching the first episode of Uncovered. Where we're going to be showcasing and sitting down with entertainment people in our industry, whether that's music, whether that's film, or whether that's TV. And today is actually our first episode, and I've got someone with me today that is very special, yeah. In my eyes, this is like, the, 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 in, my, in my eyes, yeah, this for me, I'm only like 25, innit? So I'm not even old. But when I look at this person next to me, it's like royalty when it comes to the music scene. Aww. Some of you that are young, you don't even know her from film. That's not in top way. But it's calm, do you get me? She's been around for a very long time. A real grime MC, a real legend in this. And that is the one and only No Lady. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, you? I'm good, man. My black queen. How's things? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Things are great, you know. I've I'm got no complaints. Yeah. I'm happy to see you, man. I feel like this is how many years in the making? So let's say since 2005 for me, when I was seven years old. That's the first time. Oh my time. God. Yeah, that's the first time. You was into time. music from then? I, I was into Channel U from then. I got three older brothers. So I had no choice. I wanted to watch Disney Channel, but they weren't, have, they weren't having it. I had to watch Channel U. So that's all I knew. So, so when I was got growing you up. to the music, yeah. I, I love the music, man. That, that's stuff I appreciate. But obviously today, we're going to go free in regards to your journey and so on and so forth. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Some normal, some of it in depth, if you okay. get me. And you're obliged to answer whatever you want. But obviously the first question I want to ask, this is kind of a base question. This is how I want to structure every interview we do on this platform as it is uncovered. So you got a choice, yeah? We're going to make it a bit fun. Okay. You can either answer it now, All right. or you can answer it at the end. Yeah? What, the, this first question the first that question you're going to ask me? Yeah, so this has, this has nothing to do with you. This is just about... About life. About life. Okay. You can wait, that's a good term, about life. Yeah. All right, so... So you... I'll ask you the question first, and you can decide. All right, then. All right, cool. So the first question is simply, yeah, do you like, hate, or are you indifferent to the term female, etc.? So when you hear, like, oh, she's a female rapper, or she's a female songwriter, or she's a female creative, do you like, hate, or are you indifferent to that term? I hate it. You hate it? Yeah. Why do you hate it? Because or I've you... always hated it. Uh. Like, from earlier on in my career when they used uh, to ask me to come and do female versions to songs mm. and stuff like that, like, when Lethal B had power and he wanted uh, to do a female version, uh, uh, I didn't want to do it, you know. When Getz has called me and said for a female version to one of his songs, I'm like, no, because I want to be on the song with you lot, because mm, I feel mm, like I'm good enough mm, to be on the song facts. with you lot. I feel like when you put the female in, it's evident that I'm a female. Mm. You can see it. Mm. So why does it why does it need to be said? If you see a female, you know it's a female, right? Yeah. So, so why does it? Go on, go ahead. Mm. Go so ahead. I feel like not you, but I'm yeah. saying why why do they feel like they need to say that? And I feel like that's that that's their way of pigeonholing. Mm. Mm. I feel like I feel like the same with, with with like when they say like urban music. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And stuff like yeah, that. I feel like it's yeah. a cop out. Like yeah. it's a way to kind of like section something off. It's somewhere and yeah. keep it there. Yeah, I feel you. it's almost like a slap in the face. Yeah, that kind of, I get what you're saying. But in my eyes, obviously I can't speak for you. Yeah. I can't speak for women in general, because I'm yeah. a man. But I feel like it is a bit rude, but sometimes I do understand it. Because mm. whether we want to act like it's not sometimes, we know what's a man's sport kind of, what people yeah. associate with men and yeah. what people associate with females. So for example, like if I was a, if I was a makeup artist, yeah. damn sure they'll call me a, a, a male makeup artist. Rather than just no, a no, no, because yes. I, I, I work, I work, do you know why I have to, no. I have to disagree because I work in the industry and I get my makeup done all the time uh -huh. and I've had males come to do my makeup uh -huh, uh -huh, and no uh -huh. one has said there's a male, it's a male that's coming to do your makeup today, it's just, it's a makeup but artist. But I'm saying as a whole, yeah. as a whole, like if I was at, if I was at MUA on okay. Instagram, for example, and I'm, you're going to, do you get me? You would even have to say that, oh, by the way, like it's a man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yes yeah, or no? yeah, yeah, Just yeah. be real with me. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I get what you're mouth. saying from your perspective, but I can only speak from your experience. experience yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, And yeah, from yeah, experience, yeah. I've, I've, I haven't. I've just never, you yeah. know, yeah. E experienced that. Even yeah. with like, I don't know, um, like a nurse, mm. Mm. you know, mm. and I've gone to the hospital. And it's a male nurse that's come. Mm. No one told me in advance that it's, you know, yeah. there's a male yeah. nurse coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So I do feel like, I feel like, I feel like because females, there's still like an underlying um, tone of 
um, men ruling mm. or wanting mm. to rule. Like there's an mm. underlying tone there. Mm. And I think because from such a long time ago, mm -hmm. that this might seem a bit deep, mm -hmm. but that's just what it is. Mm. I feel from such a long time ago, you know, it's always been a male dominated world. Mm. Women couldn't vote. They couldn't have their own mm. bank accounts. Mm. They couldn't do certain things. So now it's kind of like the female thing will always be made evident. Yeah. When a woman is good at something in a yeah. male dominated yeah, industry. Yeah, 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 for real. I, I, I agree with you. I think it's, I think it's a bit rude almost, but at the same time, like, like you said, I understand it in it. Like, yeah. It's almost like patriarchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a man's world. Even yeah. though like now, do you get me, like women do control the narrative, but that's a conversation yeah. for another day completely. It's, <laughs> oh it's my different. gosh, no, don't say no, that no, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Especially not, not on the social, you're not gonna do that. Like that. In the first episode, I'm not getting out like that. No we way, have to have a discussion about that though, because that's <laughs> oh interesting. Oh my God, like, one day, females, females control the narrative, what narrative? Oh, no, you're not seeing. Okay, all right, look, look, look. We'll talk see, about that. We are, about, we are about 10 minutes in, <laughs> and no lady that I've been giving my praise to saying is a real legend in my eyes, trying to draw me out already. We're not going to do no, that. I'm just interested because you know what? I've never heard a man say that before. That what? It's a woman's world? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, it, it really is, isn't it? Like, that's just the truth. It really is. And if I want to touch on it, it's like we, we are not allowed to get involved in women's business, but women are allowed to get involved in our business. And that's, and you know it's true. When you look at the, remember, that's the thing, like, mm. obviously we're in different generations, innit? Mm. Do you get me? So it's like, you're not even probably on the socials as much. Like if you weren't, a, if you weren't who you were, if you weren't an actor, if you weren't a musician. I wouldn't be on socials. At all. Yeah, do you wouldn't. know what I mean? Like, what's TikTok? Mm -mm. Like, do you get me? But I know that now you, you almost feel like you have It keeps you, it's not even, it, like, it keeps you current and yeah. it keeps, yeah. Opening you up yeah. to new audiences because yeah. there's always going to be someone that doesn't yeah. know who you are that's going to yeah. look, stumble yeah, across course. one of your social medias and then go and, you know, do their research yeah. on you and yeah. find out who you are. Yeah. But no, yeah. I probably wouldn't. That's have what I'm saying. And, and I know when you are on it, you do see a lot of the things are getting down on the shade boroughs and all of these sites. It's like, mm. a man, when a man is in trouble, hey, yeah. it's like the whole comment section is talking. But when it's a woman, it's like, Women will talk, but if a man's comments is like, oh, why are you getting involved? Like, that you have better things to do? And so on and so no, forth. No, 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 I get I, dragged on no, the shit. The you, comments... No, but that's... But it's women, though. A lot of the time. Yeah. You don't really see... I, I, that's one thing I have to... Mm, actually... And then, we, and then we talk about women uplifting each other. And that's, and that's you know why... what? Women do drag a lot, but uh -huh. I do see... And that goes back to what we were talking about earlier with the uh -huh. sassy thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I would call yeah, sassy. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because you, you, you do see men that are well into women's uh, business uh, and uh, so uh. concerned about women getting, I don't know, filler or women yeah, doing this or yeah. who a woman sleeping with like she's yeah. for the streets she's for the streets yeah. mind your business it's and not your sister it's not your mum why do you care if she's for the streets for let real. the girl go and be for the streets it's none of your business I agree with you you're so right no man you shouldn't be calling yourself a man if you are doing that but on the flip side if you saw a woman also doing the same thing a woman a, a woman could have a whole platform designed just to talk about men. How many platforms Wait, of women no, are see, designed to... No, but how many... The... No, but how many are there? Because I... I <laughs> listen, all I ever see when I look on social media is red pill podcasts. Okay. It's all literally like... Okay, you've okay. even got the, this... this, this yeah. Pearl or whatever yeah. that's just on it because she knows that she can monetize off of, yeah. off of weak men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've even got her. Like, everything is targeted towards women. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could be wrong. But I'm just talking about what's in the forefront. I don't see no podcasts mm, mm. of... Where, obviously, you get, like, a few, but I'm yeah. saying dominating. Yeah. It's all, like... Yeah, fair, fair. I get what you're saying. It's all man them on, on, on women. <laughs> How women are. Women ain't traditional. Women are like this. Women are like that. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Women should be like this. Yeah. Women should be like that. Yeah, yeah. I think the only person I can bear to listen to these days is Destiny. That's it. Fair. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we're going to go on a little journey now. I want to hear how you feel about your journey and people that are watching that aren't necessarily familiar with your journey, just familiar with you. Yeah. I want to talk about it and just really dissect how things were back in those days and yeah. you know, for you to just really break it down. So the first thing I want to talk about is when you started rapping. Yeah. I know everyone has that story of like when they started rapping, like when did you actually start rapping, would you say? Um, I was probably about 14. 14. Uh, do you know what? I was... I used to write poetry because, oh. like, I hated school. Okay. And I used to, like, literally, like, bunk, like, all the mm. time. I'm not proud of it, but I just ha I hated being there because mm. I just felt like the classes used to drag and I used to feel like I was so, mm. like, without sounding big-headed, 
just ahead of the class. Like, yeah. I used to just feel like, why am I here? Like, what mm -hmm. we? Le I feel like I learned this last week, kind mm -hmm. of thing. But the lessons that I would never miss, one of the lessons that I would never miss is English, because mm. I was you... really into like in into English. And do you feel like that's that's where that's like why your punch game is where it is today? Yeah, because it just like my favorite teacher was Mrs. Sims. Mrs. Yeah. Sims. Big up Mrs. Let's Sims. Big up Mrs. Sims, man. <laughs> But um, yeah, I just feel like I learnt so much yeah. in yeah. regards to like poetry, putting words together, yeah. play on words yeah. and stuff. And I was really, really into like poetry. And then I remember one time I was on the front of the bus mm. and... What bus was it? What, what bus? What area are you even from, by the way? Fulton Heath. Is that where you grew up? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So like, yeah. I moved around a little piece though, yeah. but it was like mainly like Fulton Fort Heath. Okay, okay, The Fulton okay. Heath kind of sell her yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, area yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, kind yeah, of there yeah, but then obviously when i was moving around yeah. with my friends and yeah. we was running up and down yeah, as you yeah, do yeah, at yeah. them ages like i would be like in like norwood like crystal palace yeah. and so but everything is yeah yeah Basically you know insane. quite quite close regardless yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. i can't remember what bus it was i think it might have been the 50 that used to run oh, up. See, I've never heard of that. Maybe run up, life. maybe run up to Coolsden. No, nah, see, I'm, I'm I you think, lost me now. But I, I, I remember <laughs> that there were some guys on the back yeah. of the bus, basically, um, and they were from Coolsden High. Okay. I used to go to Archbishop Lamfranc at those times. Okay. And they was basically playing mob deep at the back of the bus. Mm. Like they was rapping along to it yeah, and yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and I was listening. Some people don't know who Mob Deep are that are watching because yeah, I'm just gonna assume. That How could you not? That's they terrible. Might not, but, but yeah, Mob Deep well, are you there. need to do your research Deep then. Duo, man. But yeah, um, yeah, they were just playing it at the back of the bus, mm. and those times I didn't know mm. about Mob Deep. No, no, because obviously I was younger, oh, and yeah, and yeah, you know yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. I was into rap, but not as much. Mm. Like I was just finding myself and getting into it then. Mm. And then um, I just heard them rapping at the back of the bus. And I just thought to myself, hmm, like I could feel, feel I feel like I could do this. Like it's similar to poetry. Mm. Mm. So I just went home and started to write. Mm -hmm. And then one time I shouldn't have been there. I don't, I, do you know what? When I look back now, I feel like a lot of those people that worked in the clubs were quite dodgy. In terms of? Because they let me into the club and I know, uh -huh, I looked under, like I was like 14, mm -hmm. 14, maybe 15 years old and there was a club called Granaries. I don't know if it's still there in Croydon. And I must have went there with one of my friends. They let me in and there was a guy basically was emceeing on the mic. Uh -huh. And I remember saying to my friends, like, he's so shit. Like, I, said, <laughs> I was like, he's shit. Like, I feel like I could do better than that. And there was a guy standing behind me that heard me say it, uh -huh. innit? I didn't think he was going to hear me say it. <laughs> So he started making a scene like, oh, no, 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 she feels so good. Hey, this sounds like their movies, like, this is how their movies will start, like, eight miles. Listen, if you, what think did you that, say? if you think that's a movie, make sure that you buy my book in the future, yeah, because you're really uh, going to yeah. learn what, what a movie after is. After all yeah, I've just said, nothing. after all I've just said, if I don't buy your book, I'm <laughs> fake. So, yeah. But yeah, and like, he just told me to go up there and I just started like emceeing and then mm -hmm. there was a guy basically there, I think his name was Gabs, and he was kind of more like around like the kind of like Lady Dynamite mm -hmm. lot and like mm -hmm. that, the, the, mm -hmm. the Soul Solid lot and that. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of when Garage was like going Popping. into, yeah. into grime. Like it was oh, making okay. the trans, that. you know, okay, okay, pulse okay, okay, and okay, like okay. it was trying, it kind okay. of tr like transitioning yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and it kind of just went from there. And then I kind of, I was taking it easy. I hate saying this year, but basically, yeah. My MC name was Vibes, innit? Yeah, that's what everyone used to call me, yeah. Can you imagine? So cringy. Can you imagine having yeah. to imagine all that with everything Nole has done? Imagine if that weren't her name and with what Nole even means. That was so cringe and sickening, yeah. Vibes, so basically they used to call, they used to just call me Vibes, yeah. And I used to <laughs> I used to more like, you know the way people kind of like sing their bars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind yeah, of yeah, like yeah, yeah. You know, like more like yeah. I think the garage lot tend to, tended to do that yeah. more, yeah. Um, so yeah, basically like I just used to like kind of like sing my bars and then I met this guy called Coxon, yeah? Okay. And from Peckham. Okay. He used to date my, someone in my family basically. Yeah. And he just said to me one day like, why don't you say your bars? I was like, what do you mean? He said, just say them like, cause they're hard. He said mm -hmm. like, just say them in it. Like don't sing them kind of thing. Mm -hmm. 
So I just started saying them, and he was like, do you know what you should call yourself? And I was like, what? He was like, you should call yourself no lay. Like, no long to, like, no lay, lay, lay. Okay, 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 okay. And I just went with that after that. And what year, what year is this? Cause you, you took me on a little journey now, and I'm trying to just piece bits together. What year would you say? Fucking so you made, so no lay, when you can't say it. You, how do, um, see, when I hear stuff like no, that, no, I get no, upset, no, no. You know? Oh, wait, wait, I'll try it, I'll try it, I'll try it. Like, that doesn't make me happy, because that, that's I'll try it, about 2000 and... I mean, it weren't like, too long before I linked up with Unorthodox, okay. so it would have been get, about 2004, 2004. Okay, 2003, 2004. No, 2004. Okay, early I 2005 think, at most. I don't think early 2005, I would so, say 2004, yeah. 2004. Okay, cool, all right, cool. So that's when... Kind of, that's, kind of thing, yeah. Okay, cool, so that's when, the, that's when the name started and everything. Okay, cool, so... And then I did a... Go on, go on. No, no, no. Because I'm just explaining the dirty because there's ah, so cool. much yeah, little, yeah, yeah, like, okay, little, cool. little pieces so, to it. So you basically giving me the, the story as to how it all started and obviously mm. now we're going to hit as to how I got introduced to you. Yeah. So I'm six. I'm, I'm legit six years old. I'm in front of my TV doing what I do versus watching Channel U. I'm not do rest in it, but I'm watching it regardless. And I'm having a good time. And then I just see this group come on TV like, I was like, oh, all right, cool. And then I'm like, OK, she's going first. Like, do you get me? That's real. I'm like, OK. And I'm like, she's hard. Do you get me? Like, you know, like back in those days, like, you know, a video is hard, yeah, when, when someone's rapping, they're carrying a little baby in their hand. If they ain't got a little baby in their hand, yeah, that video is not going to be hard. I don't know why every iconic video in the UK grime scene or the rap scene at the beginning, back in the day, there always has to be a little child in their hand that they're carrying. Because it's culture. Well, that's what I'm saying. And it's that's how culture you knew. as well. Yeah, I get it. And that's how I knew that someone was going to be hard. And I remember I heard on Orthodox and I was like, this is hard. And it's like, cool. But remember those days, there's no phones and that. I can't, I can only hear it on TV. Yeah, yeah, So then yeah. let's fast forward a little bit. I, I heard it like again. I feel like that's when it was better though. Yeah, of course. And I heard it again recently, because I'm on the channel where you play this, and I'm like, oh, I remember this song. So now I want to move away from the music side of things. Yeah. And I want to move into acting, yeah? So I want to talk about the first thing I ever saw. Because I love how a lot of the time, the first thing that people always see is not the first thing you've actually done. Yeah. So the first thing obviously everyone saw was 2013, your cameo in Top Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Where you're paying. Um, I, just, I just I like to call rappers by their name, innit? Mm. I hate I hate calling them rappers by their yeah. yeah. You're, no, you're paying Mandy. Yeah, I know yeah. that. Obviously, you're paying um, Kano's baby mum on the show, and. That for Driss's me, baby Driss's mom. baby yeah. mom. Yeah, sorry, we talking about characters. Like, I'm a music head. I'm a music head. I'm a music head. I am not. Kano I am not a film. I am not a film guy. I'm a music head. But yeah, so you're paying Driss's baby mum on the show. And obviously, when we're seeing that again, we're like, okay, rah, like, no days in this, you get me? It weren't like a massive role, mm. but obviously it is limited, like, obviously you're in prison and so on and yeah. so forth. So how did that come about? And when you do tell me how that came about, another question I want you to think about is, um, do you feel like sometimes it's easier to play an actor coming from a music background, or do you feel like it's, it's even harder? No, I feel like people have that perception. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people felt like I got that role because I was a rapper. Because mm -hmm. some there are rappers that have been given roles in Top Boy because mm. of obviously their position in the game. Mm. But I had to audition for that part. Mm. Mm. I went and I sat in front of a camera with two people standing there and I auditioned for the part. As, I auditioned for two parts. I auditioned okay. for Mandy and I auditioned for Kayla. And at the time I really wanted Kayla. Oh, Kayla, that was played by Michaela Cole, innit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I really wanted that part because it, it was a bigger role. And yeah. as you said, like, for Mandy, it was so, such a little, like, uh, small yeah. scene of her in prison. And I remember ho going home that day, like, to my mum, well, when I found out the character that I got, going home to my mum and crying, basically, because I was like, I want, I, like, I wanted the Kayla. Role. Oh, you was crying because you didn't I'm get the role. I'm happy that I got Mandy, but I want, yeah, because I was proper passionate. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I wanted good. to do that because I knew good. that I could do it as well. Mm, mm. So I was like upset about it and I was like, I want, you know, I wanted to play the role yeah, yeah. of Kayla. Yeah. But then as times unfolded now, and, you know, and we go into the new seasons, it's like Mandy is very like, she is there, solidified, um, and Ka the role of Kayla isn't. So yeah, it's funny how things, you know, how unfold, things, isn't it? How yeah, things yeah. unfold. That's because it. if I played Kayla back then, you know, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. Mm. So when you like, so when you went into it, like, did you find it easy in terms of like adjusting to that role? Even though it wasn't, it wasn't. So I, I'm not even getting into your role now. I'm yeah. talking about then. I'm, so I'm talking about 2013. I'm talking about when you played that role, do you get me? You've done what you need to do. And it was just like, the thing is, why people say what they say, 
obviously as a creative in it i understand because i was even like on set for something playing on a plane and that time they've, mm. they've seen me through making content they feel mm. like you can smash this role so when i'm watching it i'm watching you yeah even though you're playing mandy i know that okay that's no late you got yeah. the bravado you got to do you get me you know the yeah. <laughs> she's got an attitude that I know to smash this role. So do you feel like it was kind of hard adjusting into that role? Do you feel like, you know what, with a little bit of pushing, you could, you could easily get into something like that? No, do you know what? It was hard because when you go into audition, they don't want to see the rapper. OK. They, okay. they don't, like, people get it twisted yeah. and they think that's what... They don't want to see the yeah. rapper, like, yeah. more so with, like, the new seasons now. Yeah. I had to kind of... It's easier, yeah? in my opinion, going into something like Top Boy, if you've got to act road, if mm -hmm. that's where you're from, mm -hmm. or if you've got to play out those environments, mm. if that's where you've come from. Mm -hmm. mm. But they really challenged me mm. these times. Like the first time, like 2013, I think yeah, it was. It was yeah. That was um, easier mm. because it was a smaller part and I was just really excited yeah. to kind of like show what I could do, because I felt like I'm coming back at some point. Yeah. I knew I was coming back. Did you actually? Well, uh, when it got, when they stopped the series, I was like, well, maybe I ain't coming back. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. But, but even when but they I knew, back, like, I knew, like, I felt like I was coming back. There's a, diff there's a difference between whether you should come back yeah, every and whether you know Every you're situation back. that I walk into, yeah, if I want something, I'll try to do it in a way where it is so pleasing to the people. No one else can I like delivering, yeah. do you get what yeah. I'm saying? Because yeah. I know if you deliver, nine times out of 10, you're coming back. It's true. That's true. the only, like if we fast forward and like kind of like forget about 2013 and go into net, the yeah. net, Netflix basically yeah. picking it up. Yeah. Another small, not massive role, but it was, I was in it. Like it was yeah. evident that I was there, yeah. but it was like a smaller role. So yeah. we see, we see, I have like some parts that are, you know, forefront, but it was yeah. still smaller. Yeah, yeah. But I said to her mum, I'm going to go in, I'm going to act my ass off. Because mm. when I come back, mm. my part's going to be bigger. Okay, okay. So when you, I can't speak for you, but obviously I'm going to assume that obviously as time is going on, the older you get, the wiser you become. Because mm. how I look at it, if I want to put on my little lens and start dissecting things, mm. I look at it like the character you was in 2013 is not the character you are now that you was like in, last, in like the last season. It's almost like there's a journey that's gone on. Because I feel like in 2013, you was playing Driss's baby mum and yeah. you were just like, duh, 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 duh. Just, you're just on, your, you're on yeah. the phone. I remember clearly you're on the phone, but then now, you're playing big sis. You're yeah, like yeah. wiser, you're you trying still to help. Have to, I feel like at first, yeah, when I saw that kind of journey, I was kind of like, mm. 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 You didn't, you weren't feeling it? Because in my mind, I just wanted to go on Wicked. I wanted to come out. I wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> I, wanted to kill. I felt like that's how she should come out. That's what we thought, innit? Well, that's what we are, I felt that. like that's how it should have been. Yeah, like, I yeah, felt like yeah. she should have come out. I felt like, what is this yeah. nonsense? Like, yeah. people are killing off your baby father yeah, and you're coming yeah, out yeah, and chatting yeah, on the yeah, roadside yeah, to them yeah. about money. Like, yeah. you get them all got. Like, they, yeah. everyone needs to be dead. Yeah. Like, that's how I was looking at it. But as time went on and I began to understand, I began to learn that it's going to open up more doors for me because mm -hmm. other, like I said, I feel like it's easy to play road. Mm -hmm. It's easy to play road. Mm -hmm and be, be, be on that gangster shit. Because mm -hmm. that's what they expect from us. Yeah. So when you have to go into like a different kind of vibe and, you know, give them something different, it shows other people that are watching as well. Okay. So you got range. Exactly. Mm. So at first I was a bit more closed minded and kind of like, mm. should you really? Not should I, because I was going to do it regardless. Because <laughs> it's check. a big opportunity. <laughs> Plus I enjoy it. Plus I enjoy it. But. At the same time, like I just learned that it's good to like broaden your horizons, and I'm glad that they, I'm glad that they took her on the journey yeah. that they're that, that they're yeah. taking her on because what it also teaches, it also te in my opinion, it teaches you know for the youngers and the people that come from where we're from that are watching it, it kind of teaches you as well, 
you don't have to carry on that path. Mm -hmm. Why should everything we do and acting always be, we shoot each other up, mm. we go jail, we come out of jail, like you've just done a massive bird and you've come out and you still, you still haven't learned. Mm. Mm. It's true. Your picnic went into care mm. and you've come out and you still want to be a bad girl. Like, it make no sense. do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so obviously if it would make good watch, a good watch, to behave like that but at the same time you also got to think about the message that you're sending to the youngers that mm. are watching it mm. that come from the kind of backgrounds that we come from mm -hmm. and it's good for them to see like a shift yeah yeah because e everyone's going on bad in it really yeah, yeah, if yeah, you think yeah, about yeah. it yeah which is fair i agree when, when you put it like that i definitely do agree in it but like you said i just wanted to touch on 2013 for now we're gonna get into <laughs> we're gonna get into netflix we're gonna talk about of course but i wanted to touch on that and obviously that like, when it stops now you just said that you thought, you kind of thought like that was it, basically. Do you know After what? That, I, I, I didn't dwell on it. I didn't like sit there and like be upset. Uh. But then when I saw that it came back, but a lot of people was tweeting and that anyway. Like I remember some guy, that he put Drake. together like a like animated kind of series where he animated me into it and people were talking about it and people were at in them and saying, what's going on? Mm. Like you need to bring back Mandy kind mm, of thing. Mm. So I remember there was a tweet that I tweeted in 2016 and I screenshot it and I kept it in my phone. And, it's, and I said, I want to come back to Top Boy, <laughs> basically. And then I put like the gif of, um, you know, um, Leonardo DiCaprio in, um, is it Wolf? Oh yeah, Wolf? I'm not fucking leaving. Yeah, when he goes, when he goes, when he goes, ah, he goes not, ah, and bites, when he bite, bites his fist like that and has the mic and he's like, ah, kind of thing. <laughs> I put that gif basically and I just kept it, you know, on my phone. Even when I changed my phone after mm. that, it was on my iCloud. Mm. And then they brought me back mm. and I just looked at the mm. tweet and smiled. Mm. Which is fair, it's, <laughs> which is fair. it's all I, about I, manifestation, No, nah, 110%, okay, cool. <laughs> So, we've moved on from Top Boy 2013 and we're still going to talk about Top Boy Netflix. We have to. Like, I want to talk about that myself personally, not because I'm being told to, I promise. <laughs> but um, in particular, what I want to talk about now is something that I know when it happened, it hit a lot of people in different ways. And it's not to talk about it in itself. It's more to talk about the aftermath of it all. So, like, me personally, I don't want to know nothing about how it happened. In the, in the least rudest way possible, I don't want to know nothing about how it happened, the lead up, what were you doing? No. I want to address more about how did it make you feel after and that, what, what kind of mindsets did that trigger now in regards to the stuff you do, in regards to life as a whole, your perspective on life, your perspective on your friends and family, how did that all happen? So, obviously, in 2016, um, I believe you was in a car crash, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> accident. So, I prefer uh, car accident. A car accident. I okay, hate cool. the term a, car, car, car crash. crash. Yeah. Okay. You was in a car accident. Yeah. That's happened now. Obviously, on Twitter, everyone is like the hashtag pray for Nole. And a lot of them are begs, though. The, I'm sorry. Oh. No, no, let me explain to you why, yeah, because it oh trended. God, no. Now, let me explain wait, no, to you why. No, wait, 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 no. wait, no. I know, wait, I know, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, but surely what some of the people that were saying it trended i know this yeah because obviously my manager at the time he brought everything to me and told me what was going on and the people that had emailed him and it, it trended number one basically yeah okay yeah like it trended like above drake or some mad yeah. shit like that yeah. in the in the uk because everyone but some of the people that were putting hashtag pray for no lay, yeah. are you trying to say that everybody knew no, and of, everybody cared? No, of course Sometimes not. Sometimes people just jump on trends. Of course, because it looks good. So I don't, that's what I'm saying. When I see- It sounds rude what I'm saying, I know, but it's I the know, truth I know, at the but end of the if day. You're, if you're personally seeing people that you know you've probably tried to reach out to or you tried to speak to and they're showing you- People care. like to be part of something, of, of trends, even if of it's course, something Of course, fucked. of course, of course. I see it all the time. Yes, yeah, like when footballers die, for example, all these teams that have released these footballers and they've cut ties with them completely, when they die, they like to do the whole RIP da 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 da. So I you know might as well have said I was dead, yeah. Let's just say I wasn't, uh -huh. but you might as well have said it because mm -hmm. that's pretty how kind yeah. of peak it was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people thought that, you know, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. And if you notice, just think about like when rappers die or just yeah. celebs die or whatever yeah. else, yeah. How yeah. much people come out of the woodwork. Yeah. Everyone wants to be part of it. Everybody wants to give their condolences and give yeah. their flowers. Yeah. No one gives a fuck. Uh. When, you, when you're alive or when 
you know, you're alive and mm -hmm. kicking and you're doing your thing. Don't get me wrong, like, obviously you have your core audience and people that care, mm -hmm. but I do feel like people do jump on stuff like that. Yeah. I see it now, like, when things happen. I see stuff happen with, like, rappers and stuff. Everyone jumps on it. Their sales go higher. Everyone starts mm. listening to their music. You know, so I'm not fooled by that crap because mm. I see through it. I get what you mean, innit? Like, it, it is, I know, 110%, I agree. Like, it's like when someone dies, everyone wants to post a picture, for example. Yeah. Like, but at the same time... Talking about, I remember when... We, don't. <laughs> I remember. You don't remember. I, I remember, remember when we, we bucked at this, this, um, <laughs> this after party or this, this premiere or this da-da-da, like... They, they start posting the screenshots of their messages and that, like, these times there's something, any But message. the thing is... I will always like buck up with certain people and I will mm. always say to them like, you know, like I remember I remember bump because people are like that in this industry. I remember bumping into one guy and um, he's like, I always knew you was going to do your thing. Nah, 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 nah. And I was like, so how come you aired me all that time when I was trying to get you to shoot something for me? <laughs> that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much who I am, to be quite honest. That's how it goes. Like, just quite unfiltered. I don't know if you've seen um, something that's kind of trending now. Michael B. Jordan, did you see that? So basically, he with got, the girl, with and the she girl said about that corny. Like, yeah, like that's how that's how this game goes. But don't you feel that sometimes? No, no, no. We're not even gonna do that. See, this is what always happens. We're not even gonna do. I'm I do saying, feel like they were tweet. A lot of the people that were tweeting, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Were not all, not all of them yeah, cared. Some of them just wanted to be part. of I don't people. care about the the people that are in your industry and all of them lot. I never have. I care about about the people like us. So obviously mm. when we see it, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, no, I was no late diehard fan. I just said, no. But I did see it and I was a bit like, oh, my God, like, mm. I'm a bit scared. Do you get me? And mm. then everyone, there was a form of togetherness. So didn't that kind of make you feel like, OK, wow, like, surely in your heart somewhere, even if it's like 2%, I mean, I... it's sweet. <laughs> there was part of it that made me th think, oh, wow, like, this is nice. But there was part of it that made me think. This is just... Where are you motherfuckers when it's time to support? This is fair. Like... This is fair. I, it's a, that's why I always really? say that. I can't... Why do people have to be almost in, dead in, in, for people to give people their flowers? Yeah, and... yeah. Which is fair. I, I get that, innit? I never really, like... Obviously, to a normal person, you would expect you to be like, oh And why my God. did Pray For No Lay even become a hashtag? I don't know. This is... I don't... sad. I'm <laughs> I sorry. Like, it. I actually find that offensive in some way. I don't know. Because really and truly... And that's how you know it was a trend. OK. Yeah? Because really and truly, they could have been tweeting and just saying, um, you know, like, I hope no... It's lazy. It could have been more like, I hope Nole comes around, I hope she gets better, okay. this is sad news. Yeah. But it wasn't. Okay. So it's not coming from your heart where you're saying something. Yeah. It's a hashtag, pray for Nole. But do you know what else might have that's contributed a bit, to that? That's a bit though? crazy. Do you, know what, do you know what might have contributed to that, though? What, what my manager posted. The picture. What picture? The picture of you in the hospital. Yeah, but... So how did that... So you how, that wasn't you, or was it you that posted that picture? My picture of yeah, when yeah. I was in the hospital yeah, bed yeah. and I was awake, smiling. Yeah, 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 yeah smiling. But obviously they, was, still... they was tweeting, pray for no lay long before Yeah, that. I know, I know, but I'm saying that... Oh, OK, so you're saying, like, that was after, so that's, that's your, that was your response? I stayed off Twitter for a while okay. because the, my mentions okay. were, f were um, thousands yeah. of hashtag pray for yeah. no lay, yeah. like... I'm, I'm seeing that. That's I'm a like, trend to me. Like, that's a tr how are you trending someone's accident? That's weird. Mm, okay. That's just me. Maybe I'm looking at it too deep. No, no, I find you're that not. Weird. You're not. You're entitled because ev to. everyone would have their own. I feel like you would have your own kind of individual message if yeah, you really yeah, cared. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, I hope she gets well soon. Blah 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 blah. But everyone was literally just pray for Nole, pray for Nole, pray for Nole. Mm, like, mm. hashtag pray for Nole is quite mm. weird. Okay. We live in a weird. Society. Times where everything is hashtag. And why was it just not pray for Nole if that's the case? Why did they have to slap a hashtag before it? Maybe, maybe. That's so, weird. No, but maybe so. More so it trends. Can see it. And more so it can trends. Be aware. I'm, more, I'm, not, I'm not trying to play like the good guy here. It's, it's yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you, it's you, a you, trend. You went through it's a trend. It, so I can't be, say. Be, being in the industry that I'm in. Yeah, you know, innit? People just, people just love trends mm. too much. People do anything for a little bit of clout mm. and to, to, to be part of a trend, mm. to get their likes or, or, to, or to get noticed. You even see people, people will even, if you look on TikTok, you look on Twitter, people will tweet the craziest shit or post the craziest TikToks in order just to get some attention. Like social media has 
sent people crazy. Mm. Like people do anything these days. Mm. And I'm not saying that everybody that was tweeting it had bad intentions, but some people just wanted to be part of the yeah. trend. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Just and like obviously, just because your intentions like aren't bad, mm. it doesn't necessarily mean they're good either. Yeah, they're just, exactly. they're just, they're just exactly. different. They're just you're just doing you're it. You're just there, like doing it, <laughs> which is fair. But on the more serious side of things, anyway. So obviously that's happened now. Mm. When you've now, you know, you survived. You thank God. Do you get me? And obviously for a reason, because you still have stuff to do on this planet. Mm. God willing. So. How did that now change your, or did it, in fact, let me let me speak for you, did it now change your perspective in regards to just you as a creative, in regards to music, in regards to like your approach of things in life, or did it not? And don't feel like, see, because I feel like you're going to be like, it didn't, and you feel like you can't, because if it didn't, it's fine. But, but Do you I know wanted, why it I didn't? Know because it did. I've been in other situations where I've almost died. Where they just, just weren't publicised. So, 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 yeah, so I feel like I've been in, I've been in many dangerous situations okay. in my life. So... That was kind of like. Why am I laughing? I'm, I'm not laughing I think like, you're laughing because I'm smiling. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm laughing. Like, how are you no, smiling, smiling and saying that you've been I'm, in danger? I'm situations? laughing because I'm trying to take but myself back. I can back. smile now because yeah, I come you, out the other side yeah, of, of it. Of course, of course. I'm, no, I'm laughing now because I'm trying to take myself back to when that happened and just how my mind was when I, when I saw it. And it's like, oh my God. And then you're I'm saying quite, to me that, no, nah, this ain't your first radio, I'm just, weird, I'm just a weird person, though. No, and I get I've, it. I've, I've accepted I get that. And I, I, I say it to everybody. No, like, I'm it. quite awkward and quite weird because things happen, yeah. P things happen and I kind of like digest what's happened and then I just move on. Okay, and that's kind the right way. And that's... I don't know if it's like I just store it somewhere and then just keep going, but I don't... Because of some of the things that I've been through, it's kind of like I looked at that and I was like, all right, well... I probably looked at it and was like, I'm definitely here for a reason. Of course. Okay. Okay. That kind of sense. thing, maybe. But I, I didn't, it didn't give me like a complex where it was like, I don't know, like, you know, some people, they get out of something and they get like a bit of a superiority complex. Mm about themselves. It didn't really do that for me. It just was like, it's yeah, like I'm, 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 I'm here for a reason. Mm. Which is good, isn't it, I guess? It's like, you're not, you're not, and... But I didn't want to be too much like that as well, because I was kind of like, all right, well, you survived this car accident, but you might bop out somewhere tomorrow and just end up dead mm. for something smaller. Mm -hmm. so, you, don't, you don't know when death's coming for you, is it? Like, like, it sounds morbid, but that's... Are you religious? Yeah. Like, oh, to oh, somewhat religious. What, what religion? I'm kind of like in the middle of religion. What religion? Islam. What? Oh, Islam, yeah. Okay. Now you I'm can't... learning about it more though. Yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't say that's why I'm talking how I'm talking. Oh, okay. You just think it's just you as a person, yeah? Because of religion. Okay. I just feel like it's because I've just grown mm. as a person and I'm more concerned about learning who I am than concerned about Am I going to be famous? Am I going to, am I going to have a mansion? Mm. Am I going to be rich? Yeah. Is this going to, you know, like a lot of the things that people are care about and they're concerned with. Uh -huh. I'm not saying they shouldn't be concerned with that, but I feel like, have you got to know who you are? Because you see, if we race towards these things, yeah, like being rich and all of this stuff, yeah, or fame and all of that, you're going to lose it anyway if you don't mm. know who you are. Mm. That's I, the most important thing. I, I, if there's a thin line in it. Because I, I do agree, I, whatever is destined for you in this life, is destined for you, innit? Do you get me? No one can take it from you. So I do agree with you, innit? Because you will always meet yourself, you know? No you matter, will, no yeah, matter no where, where you, you end yeah. up, yeah? Yeah. Rich, poor, successful, unsuccessful, you will always meet yourself. What about there. if you're not hard-working enough, though? See, that's, that's, where, that's where I didn't question, because that's why I say there's a thin line well, sometimes. hard work feeds talent when talent doesn't work, innit? Yeah, so I'm saying now, for example, what if... God has, got all, God has got something destined for you mm. and you are just not applying yourself as hard as you should, so you don't attain. Well, that's a, that's a, different, that's a different... But then how thing. would you then distinguish that from it's not for you then? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't, you, it's, it's hard sometimes. But then that's kind of down to the people then, because if you're not working, then you don't deserve it, do you? But, some, but I'm not even trying to turn this to a, little, mm. <laughs> to a debate, but obviously yeah. you know more than I do, innit? Mm. Sometimes you can't even distinguish. Because mm. there's times, like, you, know when you, you know you've probably been through that where even me as a creator, I might go, I might, I'm thinking to myself, oh, no, I could be, I actually could could be working harder. Someone comes to me and say, no, nah, I see you doing your thing. I'm like, what are you seeing? But like, I, do you know feel what like, I, mean? I feel like we all feel like we could be working okay, harder. Okay, though. okay, 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 okay. Because I just never want to get to a point in life where I'm like... But then some of us give ourselves hard times for resting. Okay, see? And that's one of the... That's a big... That's I've learned that's so important. Uh, like, rest, yeah, 
if you want to be able to achieve what you want to achieve in life, rest is so important. You have to rest. And there's so much people out here like they just do too much. Yeah, and they never, out. they never, it's also a very important, f rest and looking after yourself is just as important mm. as, wo as work. Mm. No, I agree. Because otherwise, how do, how do you deliver? And there's a lot of people that you are working, you could be working very hard at your capacity, but you're still going to feel like you're not working hard enough, mm. especially when you look at what other people are doing. That's another mm. thing I've stopped doing now looking around at what other people Staying are doing and you know i'm on social media less as well because everywhere you look no one publicizes when their life is a shit show mm. do you see what i'm saying so you wouldn't know anyway it's true people just people will only ever publicize what looks it's good weird. and then in the background it could be completely fucked mm. so i feel like i'm on there but i try to like kind of post them kind of like no i feel you jump off is... and there's too much red pill shit on there these this days is, as I feel well. you. this is this is look this has turned into a million dollars worth of game no let's just drop in the the tea do you get me <laughs> this is, you might have to you might have to charge for this one a little one still a little subscription fees because you shouldn't be getting this for free what no they're saying but cool <laughs> so we we're kind of diving into your career a little bit obviously you said you don't have no regrets in it mm. Do you get me? Obviously, everyone's different. I sometimes, when I look at what I, I feel know like when we have regrets in life. No, not me. No, it's not about me. Not, wait, wait. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about me. I have. I feel like when I look at your career, yeah. the only one thing that I feel like I feel like you shouldn't have necessarily done, yeah, was when you and Trillery yeah. were. I feel like in my eyes, I said I feel like you're you're OG. So it's yeah. like your OG, your levels. Why are you now letting? And don't get me wrong, Trillery is who she is. Yeah. You get me, but she's nowhere near you. Yeah. Not ability wise, not status wise, not anything wise. Yeah. So why did you feel like you had to, in in some sense, stoop down to her level to to well, go, wait, wait, not finish, not finish, not finish. I'm gonna explain. No, not finish. And but I feel like at the same time, you're real authentic, mm. and I know that, and that's why people were saying that. For example, with, with Stormzy and Wiley, Stormzy lost because in terms of grime, if someone's trying to clash you you got to clash back, no matter what. Do you yeah. get me? And that's, that's probably what you're, you've been raised on. Do you Not know what I'm always, trying to say? Because there's other people that have tried yeah, to clash Yeah, yeah, and you haven't. And so, I've aired them. So there we go. So that even makes it, that even makes it, okay, so I almost thought that you must have probably replied to everyone that tried to hit, even no, if it's no, a no, one no, little no. time. So, there's a few people that have, that have tried to put this okay, out. Okay, so, so why? So that's what I'm saying. I just wanted to have a bit of fun. I enjoy no, it. I'm not. I'm, I'll be I'm, honest I'm, with I'm you. Not, I'm really, no, no, listen. I don't, I swear to you, like, I swear to you, yeah? It is a sport. You got to think about, you know, because of how long you've watched yeah. me do my thing. Yeah. What, where do I come from? The game that I come from, what, what do we do? You clash, innit? We it? clash. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. So sometimes it gets a bit boring when you're For just real. making songs. For real. Because th it's a sport. For real. It's fun. Do you get what I'm saying? So mm. when I did, when literally, if you saw the whole process and you was a fly on the wall and you saw me and my manager at the time and how fast we turned it over and the jokes we had when I was writing it and everything else, you'd understand because there's a lot of, mm. there's fun that mm. goes into it. There, there'll always be a part of, I'm a very, very competitive person as okay. well. Okay. That's, that's one thing I would say, like, I am, I am super competitive. I don't like people getting one over me. Mm. I'm not saying she did get one over me, but sometimes every... What film was it? I forgot what the film's called. Right, there's a film, yeah, and I've completely forgotten what it's called. I forgot the actor as well, which is terrible because he's a brilliant actor, yeah. <laughs> but he says to the guy, one guy in the film, yeah, he said that there's this lion, yeah? And the lion's basically chilling in the shade, basically. Mm. Doesn't want, like, this is the king of the jungle. Doesn't want to be bothered by no one, just wants to chill there in the shade and relax, mm. yeah? And because he's chilling in the shade and relaxing, his cubs start coming over and they start basically, like, nip, nipping him, yeah, mm. in his legs and stuff like that. And then the lioness comes over, starts doing the same. And the jekylls and the hyenas and that, they're observing this, that he's chilling, basically, and he's allowing them to do this. So then they start slowly moving in and doing the same thing. And he allows it and he leaves it and they carry on and they carry on and carry on to the point they start eating his food. Mm. So then one day he just runs like the wind and yams up everybody. Mm. Why? Because every now and then the lion has to remind yeah, everybody who the, who the lion is, okay. yeah? Sometimes you have to remind them mm. and let them know who, what time it is. And mm. that's what that was about. It's like, it's never a thing, like, some people will be quick to be like, oh, yeah, like, she's not worth replying to, which I get. But sometimes 
You have to spank people and you have to make an example of people so everybody else knows, don't fuck with me. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying, isn't it? Like, it would have been nice to see someone that I feel like is on your level. Don't get me wrong, Trinity Banks, do you get me? She's, she's all right in terms of her rap. Yeah. But I just feel like, when I look at you once again, this is, like you said, it's, it's basically food. But at the same time, when you put it how you well, put I d- it... Well, I did, I did come for Wiley. I did say to Wiley, like, if you want, if you want it, like, you're the, you're the godfather. <laughs> like, because I thought, let me, let me, let me, let me come for someone that, all right, you consider him the godfather. He's up there and that. And he didn't want to do it. He's not going to be on it because he's, he's, he'll be scared, isn't it? Yeah, but it'll be, it'll so, be, it is, so it is what it is, isn't it? Is it? Is, That's yeah. the godfather. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's not like, you know, like I shied away from these things, but I just feel like at the time as well, I just feel like it's good. Sometimes you've got to give the people what they want as yeah. well. Yeah. Sometimes you have to give the people what they want. Like sometimes you, you're, you're here to be entertained. Let me entertain you, innit? And that's why I just dropped one. Because mm. at the time, I had started filming for this, the, the, the season of Top Boy, mm-hmm. basically. And I remember it at the time, and pe- she did another diss track. And I was like, I didn't even listen to it. I said, I'm not listening to that <laughs> shit. I'm not listening to that. And I just didn't send back. And everyone was like, yeah, but you've got to send back. And so I was like, no. Because yeah, I've done do it with corn. Uh, it trended. Yeah. It was trending yeah. on Twitter and that. Like, yeah. it's, well, why do I need to send it? I've done what I needed to do kind yeah. of thing. And then I started to realise that she wanted to carry on because she, it's almost like she needed that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To keep her relevant. So I kind like. of just did what I needed to do. And, and just kept you, you it just moving, bounce, and then we had a laugh about it on the Top Boys set mm. a couple oh. of days later. Oh what? Yeah, oh, I went what, in and every, I went oh, in okay, and everyone okay, was okay. I went in and everyone was like, "Why did you do that? Why did you do that though?" Like, so that's what I was gonna ask as well. Like, <laughs> you, you and her, like, you ain't never bumped heads or nah, never seen her or you got friends or nah. I I, I saw um, a radio show thing with her and Miss La Familia on it. Yeah. And I remember looking and thinking. How are you two in the same room together like that? Go, you lot are both spitting and kind of thing. I'm not saying I would have been fighting, yeah, yeah. but I definitely would have yeah, had yeah, something yeah, to yeah. say to you, yeah, yeah. had something to say to you. And then yeah. it just made me kind of look and realise, yeah, that the game is just not full right. gazy, to be quite honest. It's just I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, innit? Do you get me? I don't know, because sometimes I'm like, yeah, cool. No, because then like, they went home. And truly, we started sending for her on her story. You lot was just in the same room. You should have had that conversation outside the venue. I, I didn't know. understand that. And that's another thing that made me think, I can't, resp- I can't respond no, you done your, you done to your these thing. people no more. You've done your thing. Because we're I went, just different. I went, I went tied in like that to the clash. I just knew it was happening. So when you're telling me now, you only got one song. Okay, cool. I'm yeah, like, just one. I'm happy to that's hear it. that. I'm happy just, to hear that still. You would have, you would have known if, if, if yeah, I, if you if definitely I done more. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I saw that one, but I, don't, I didn't see anything else. But yeah. I didn't know what was going on. Because I was like, on. fuck this. After that, I wrote quickly, wrote something. Like we turned mm. everything over in like 24 hours, and I was like. So you still believe in clashing? Then I assume, yeah. To a certain extent, yeah. Would you clash anyone again if you had to? If you had to, not no name, just like, saying in general. I feel like if they said something that evoked it out of me. I'm also a businesswoman as well when I do things. If I feel like I've got a release coming or something going on, then I, there are certain things that I, I'm not stupid. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's certain things I will post and certain things I will do because I know the blogs are going to pick it up. Mm. You know, I know that it's going to give me traction for this or that. Sometimes what you see happening is not always what it's for. Mm. So you might see corn going on over there, but there's other things going on over here. Yeah. And that's what I, why I've dropped corn to push this that's happening over here. Yeah. I think obviously me, I know that. Someone else wouldn't. Mm. And I get, yeah. and I get, and obviously I understand. I don't feel like they need to know that though. No, nah, they shouldn't. Cause then it makes what you're doing less authentic, even though it's not authentic anyway. But, it's, it's, but <laughs> if I'm benefit, benefiting from it, then if it's, that's the reason that I'm doing it and I'm benefiting is, yeah, from it, it and it's it working for me, then yeah, like mm. it is what it is. Mm. And I've learned kind of now, um, when people throw shade at me, basically, I, I don't respond to, tr- um, to the shade from trees with no fruit. So if I don't have something to gain from you, mm. I don't feel like I would be responding. Yeah, that's facts. That's like, yeah, it's like, it was like when Chip was 
was um, clashing with Young and like, to me, I'm just like, shit, what are you doing? But at the same time, I understand because he's also come from not as deep as you, but mm -mm. he's also come from that grand background where it's like he feels obligated to respond. But yeah. I feel like with Chip, Chip's, Chip's got that fire in him, though. Yeah, that's, that's what, what you I'm have saying. to understand. I feel like Chip's got that kind of thing, kind of like what I've got. Like, yeah, you got, you're enjoying what? it. What? And you're enjoying like, did it. Did you need it? me to come out you're and spank it. you? Like, it. are you serious, kind of for thing? For real, for real. I, I think Chip knows what he, come on, mm. he knows what he brings to the table and what he does. And I think, like, sometimes you just got to. You just you've got to do it. You've got, you've got, to, teach you've got, to, do, you've got to teach people a lesson. Are, are, are they flexible though um, on set in terms of like improv and that, or do you have to be like spot on with your lines and stuff? Do you know what? When I first started filming with them, I was so like meticulous. So after that day, I was like, I'm never putting myself through that stress again. Mm. So I got really meticulous about it, and I, I, I remember like what I would do is basically stick all of my script up on the wall. Mm. So in the morning when I got up, the script is there and I see it and I just would read it in mm. the morning, read it before I go to bed, like every day basically, and then have it in my phone as well. And then I learned a new method from um, the gentleman called Martin that I told you about that mm -hmm. I went and had the session with, where basically you just say, you just record and say the parts of the script that aren't yours. Okay. And then obviously, it trigger. You, and no, you just fill it in basically. So after it's recorded, so like if I've recorded the dialogue yeah. of everybody else's, uh, then you just play it basically and then just memorize yours and just say your parts okay, in the black okay, 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 kind okay. of spaces. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I just went in the toilet, had that conversation with myself. And yeah, I just went out there and just, and just, and just did my thing. But when I saw other people forgetting their lines and stuff... You're like, oh, what am I stressing for? I was like, oh. <laughs> like you always need to see yeah. that. That's bad, though. That's bad, though. No, but do you know, do you know why? Do you know why it's not bad? Because I put my... I'm so, like... Um, I'm my worst critic. OK. As far as I'm concerned, yeah? So when I... I felt like... I'd, this just has to be perfect. I need mm. to know everything kind of thing. And then when you see other people forget, and some people forget, not because they don't know their lines, but literally just sometimes your mind goes blank. No, nah, for real. It happens. It, all the stress, like everybody, you've got so much people around you filming and stuff. Mm. It just, it just happens. So it kind of makes you just not lazy because I mm. never become lazy. It just makes you a bit more relaxed yeah. a little bit. Which and is yeah, good. and Which is th good. that was, one of my favourite scenes. Good. I love that, man. To which be is quite good, honest. Which is good. So obviously the new season coming out, well, it depends on that time of release, whether it's actually going to be out or not. Do you feel like it's the... Like, I'm hearing it's basically the best season. It's going to be the best season out of the four we've already had. What are you saying? Oh, I can't you answer can't, that. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I'm why? Do you know why? I just want to know. I mean, I need to... Bro, I'm basically not I feeling the like job right will... now. Like, I don't, I, in my heart, I feel like it will. It depends what you want. From it. From it, I'm not. I'm not. Them That's watchers. why I don't want to. It depends what you want from I'm it. I'm not them watchers. I'm. Mm. I'm an easy watcher. Do you yeah. get me? Like, but I feel like I know when I'm gonna enjoy something, and I just feel like this one is gonna. If someone's gonna be emotional, and someone has to die. It's <laughs> the only way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone has to die. But obviously, I know you can't tell. You can't tell me, but I know. But I, I'm gonna make sure I speak to you when I watch it when it comes out, and then we'll have a conversation about it. But all yeah. I can say is like, Mandy's so inner, man. That, that's like it. That. There's just some parts where I just thought, oh, uh, that's just... Do the most. Mind your fucking business, Do the most. Which is, which is <laughs> Go fair. look after your I'm, a, I'm excited. That's what I'm all saying. <laughs> okay, last question, yeah. Acting and music. I know which one you should prefer. Yeah. But what, which one do you actually prefer? Acting. Oh, that's interesting. Do you know what? I love music. Yeah. I feel like I probably only prefer acting because... Actually, I can't say that I prefer acting. Do you know what? They're different. I feel like different with feels. I feel like with acting, yeah, it's a new world to me. That's probably mm. why I feel like that about it. Mm -hmm. You're in the excite. You're in the honeymoon stage. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, it's, yeah. it's something that's kind yeah. of like new to me. Yeah, yeah. And I like the checks. Okay. That come with it. I feel like it. I feel like it pays better than music. You heard as it. Well. You heard it here first, didn't it? Well, you not that? If I, if, 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 I, if I'm honest. Yeah, which is fair. Which is nice. Okay, cool. So the last question to wrap up today is in a brief way, or maybe in a couple of words. When you look at the when you look at the music scene as a, like, as a whole now, mm. not even just the, the female artists, just music scene as yeah, a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it make you feel? I like it. I think it, I, it. I think it's good. I think the bar could be a bit higher. Okay. But the only reason why I say that is because you know where I've come from. Mm -hmm. Like, we are like lyricists. Mm -hmm. 
and stuff, you mm. know, like I, mm. I believe in like bars, like that's what I'm into kind mm. of thing. Mm. Um, it's a bit, a little bit bubblegum mm. for me. But at the same time, I'm still happy that the UK is doing its thing because yeah. it only makes it better for everyone else that's involved anyway. No, of course. You know, so I'm, I'm glad that like doors are opening up and... Yeah, that's great. I'm, 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 I'm surprised. No, I'm not surprised because it just depends on how you look at it, to be yeah. honest. Because it's like me, I'm always like, like you said, I've come, I, I feel like I grew up on that era. Mm. So I'm always a bit like, oh, I preferred the music back then, maybe, but that's just nostalgia mm. speaking. But at the yeah. same time, it's like, how could I talk ill about now yeah. when commercially we're doing things that we couldn't even think about before? You I know still what I mean? think they're a little bit um, t tacky when it comes to like, female rappers mm. i don't like calling it that mm. but it is what it's just yeah like start, yeah I, I feel like they could i still feel like they're still slept on mm. like i don't feel like maybe there's enough or maybe mm. Mm. enough spotlight gets shone on them but it is what it, it is i feel like it will happen soon mm. i look at people like sims and i mm. think like little sims probably my favorite mm. and i'm just like yeah she's hard and i feel like she's doing She's doing the numbers and she's getting the support. But it's, she not, enough, get more. it's, not, it's enough, not enough. It's one. not enough in comparison to, to, to the, the males. males. I know, I know, I know. But all we can do is just give it time, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we need people but like why you. do why do we need to give it time though? I don't why know. can why can it just not be how it is with the males? Even the males as a whole. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Because people always feel like, oh no, like the, the female, but even but UK. As a whole, do you know what it is? UK is just so small as. From well. when we're putting grime rap. Drill, da, 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 on the mobile, no, the Brits in the same category, allow me, we're, we're all struggling. Some people are struggling more than others, which yeah. is fair, you get me? But to be quite honest, drill and grime don't even exist on, like when you go on the distribution platform to distribute your music, mm -hmm. um, drill and grime are not solidified genres. So when you go to upload things, you, you're you uploading it under- Rap straight away. Rap. Okay. So even there, so you you know that. The UK has a long Wait, way, so a long way to go. Well, we're going. Yeah. So that's that's just it. We're going. But yeah, man, you've heard it all here. It's been the first episode of Uncovered with your host, Kamzo SCP. And we had the UK legend with us, Nole. Before we wrap up, just going to ask Nole, is there anything that people should look out for um, before we close this little interview today? That's coming with a film, besides Top Boy, obviously. Okay. But music-wise, anything else? Any other ventures? I don't want to say the name of my project. I sure. want to say it, but I don't. Hey. I, am, I am working on a new project okay. at the moment that they should look out for. I don't have a date for it because obviously I'm in the process yeah. of... Are we tapping into all genres, yeah? Or no? A few genres, okay. not all. When you say all They're not genres... All, okay, sorry, I use the wrong term. Yeah. A few, are we tapping into different genres? It is, quite, di it is quite diverse, but yeah. I would say that it's more leaning towards rap. Okay, okay. It's yeah. not really grime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fair. Which is I feel like I've outgrown that now. I guess. You're going to say grime is dead, <laughs> isn't it? Well, we're not, that's, basically, that's basically like treason. We're not allowed to say that. So, <laughs> I said say, that, though. I said Grammy it on dead. Twitter, man, and everyone, no, everyone, everybody got upset. You're you. Do you get me? You're you, but yeah, we're not allowed, I'm only allowed to say it off camera. But, you're yeah. allowed to say what you want. If I, that's no, what you no, think, I'm that's not what on it, think. man. I'm still the people's people. <laughs> but yeah, man, like you said already, it's your boy, Cam SCP, and thank you for watching the first episode of Uncovered. Look out for more. Make sure you follow us on all of the socials, the Twitter, the Instagram, and everything else. Over and out. Peace.